now we are joined by our guest, uh, Prem Mukherjee. Mukherjee. Am I pronouncing yes. that correct? <laughs> yes, you are. Hi, That's you good. are the CEO of Arising Images. Tell me about Arising Images. What's that all about? Yeah, Arising Images is a fine art children's portrait company. And what that means is we try to go beyond taking just cute pictures. Our goal is we want to create a fine art heirloom portrait, something that's going to be around for generations, something that when the child walks home and they see this beautiful piece of artwork on their wall, it's going to fill them with joy and self-esteem that they're, they're valued enough to be the artwork on the wall. Wow. And we want this to be also a portrait where the parents will get to look at it many years to come and be reminded of the childhood innocence that their, their little one had when they were that age. Yeah, you're capturing a fleeting moment in time. Yeah. Are these portraits created using various art medium uh, or is it digitally it, it, created? It starts as, as photographic artwork mm -hmm. and then we have, uh, we have our, an artist that goes in and adds enhancements and embellishments to the pieces. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. What that's age group do you deal with in? Uh, it's primarily portrait? 2 to 12. 2 to 12? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. And so on top of that, uh, you are here today to promote uh, a grant program. Tell us about the grant program that you you're, uh, want to tell the folks yeah, about. Yeah, sure today. thing. So um, we've our business has been around for about 17 years. We've been incredibly blessed. We've been in the or Orient area for about seven to eight years or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just wanted to give back to the local community. So we have created a grant program where we're going to be letting um, any charitable organizations that do any work to make a difference in the lives of children because our business is children's portraits. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. So we want to help support organizations that are making a difference in the lives of children. How long have you been doing this grant program? This grant program is new. We've brand uh, new. Okay. it's brand new. Yep, we've done other work in the past, but um, we've uh, the the work we've done in the past has primarily been international work, and now we wanted to bring it to southeastern Michigan. Great. So, how does a, a local organization apply for this grant? Yeah, we have a we have a link on our website, which is uh, I believe it's arisingimages.com/grant application. Mm -hmm. Um, and they can just go online. They can fill out the they fill out the form on there. We just need the documents for the 501c3 and the the um, information about their board, um, and then we will we'll have our board review those applications, and then from there we're going to pick the um, we're going to pick the top five. And once we have the top five chosen, mm -hmm. then we'll bring them into our studio for an interview, and then decide who's going to get the grant money. So it says there are multiple grants ranging from 15,000 to 30,000. Can you, can you give us examples of some types of programs you might be looking for? I mean, I know this is the first year, so you don't have examples from the past, but what would you say is you know, an ideal organization or service? You know, that's a, it's a really good question. Honestly, we are keeping it very open. So mm -hmm. it's, it's literally any organization that makes a difference for children. It can be it can be handicapped children. It can be uh, foster kids. It can be I mean literally anything. If they make a difference for children, it's available. Wow, that's fantastic. You said you did it internationally, and then how did you come to select this area, and then the scope of your breadth of uh, your uh, donation now? Which how far do you go from this particular area? Say of is it Oakland County and beyond Oakland County, or so, how far do you go? Yeah, that's a great question. We're saying 75 miles from Lake Orion. It's, okay. I mean, it's really all of southeastern Michigan. We don't oh. have any, you know, exact parameters. Is 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 your uh, the the uh, rising images? Is that headquartered in Lake Orion? Yep. Or? Yep. We're right on the pier road, about a mile and a half of north of where the palace used to be. All oh. right. And a deadline is about two months away. Something like that. Yeah. We haven't. I think we put July 31st, 31st on there yeah. is when we're going to be cutting that off, um, and then we'll start reviewing applications from there. Okay. And so, just to kind of reiterate, so they apply for it, you have staff that'll go through the applications, and then you said there's in-person interviews. You want to elaborate on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, what we're going to do is once we have, uh, once we read through the applications and we've identified who we feel that the, the top mm -hmm. probably four or five are, we'll invite them in. We'll meet them in person, we'll talk to them, learn a little bit more about the organization, about what they're doing and how long they've been doing it for, and just try to get a scope of uh, how they'll be able to use the money. And then from there, then we can make a decision of you know, who we want to give that grant money to. So these would be like you can say, for example, they, they can go to camp or you know, maybe some uh, um, well, Special Olympics you know, they have would be something Absolutely. in those areas there within an age group there, or is it pretty for well? For sure, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. That's great. 
So how did this evolve? How, talk, talk about the conversation that you had to say, you know what, maybe we could give back to the community. Yeah, uh, it's, a good, it's a good question. Uh, it's, I think it's evolved over a long period of time. Um, my wife and I have been attending Kensington Church for a long time, mm -hmm. also over on Lapeer Road. Our office is a couple buildings north of there. We've been there for, gosh, 20 years. And through there, we've done a lot of missions work. And that's how we started with some more of the international programs um, and we again we just kind of felt like hey we've been in Orion for a long time we focus on children so mm -hmm. let's this year let's just focus <laughs> all of our money giving back to the local community and children in the local community Wow how long have you been doing the portrait services uh, 17 years 17 years yeah been doing that how did that come about go back to the origin <laughs> yeah, right. That's that. so I was I have an engineering degree from University of Michigan and I worked at General Motors for a long, long time, and uh, it just never was a fit. Um, <laughs> I think I had a lot of other creative juices that were flowing, and I had the opportunity to, to leave. And um, when my wife, uh, my, my wife and I just made the decision, hey, you know what, let's give this a go. And so we started doing uh, weddings and then family portraits and high school senior portraits oh, and nice. all sorts of stuff. And then it's mm -hmm. just over every, you know, over every few years, our business kind of evolved and changed and grew. And now we focus 100% on these children's fine art portraits. They're all mm -hmm. photographed in our studio. Um, we have roughly 20 employees now. Tw and uh, yeah, we're, we're grateful to do what we wow. do. Wow. You know what's interesting? The, the Orient Arts Center, they have these exhibits and they hand out cash prizes and have judges look at you know the different work that people submit and over the years they've accepted you know painted portraits and and pottery and stuff like that and I remember a few years ago I was there and I said you know if you ever had a show on digital enhancement of photographs like converting photographs into art and they were like you know we never thought of that <laughs> so now that's like one of the accepted media that uh, mm. that the art center will include in some of their shows so talk about what you've witnessed in the evolution of of this digital fine art yeah uh, gosh it's oh my gosh it's evolved so much over the years mm -hmm. it, it just completely changes and um, I'm part of Professional Photographers of America and they do you know, big wow. national conventions around the country. And when you go to the conventions and you look at some of the artwork that's on display, mm -hmm. the ones that are typically the award winners and the ones that get the most attention usually are significantly enhanced. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Because the thing is, that as an artist, it gives you the opportunity to create something that otherwise would have been impossible. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing watching what, what can be done. Are there tools that you prefer using when, when doing your work? Um, primarily Photoshop and, uh, and then also sometimes Corel Painter, um, mm -hmm. where you, you, know, you actually have a little drawing tablet and you can, you can draw <laughs> right on it with a yeah. pressure-sensitive tablet. It's mm -hmm. amazing what you can do. And then you print these out on canvas? Print it on canvas, and yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes we've even gone beyond that and then painted over the top of those canvases. So, oh, yeah, oh, there's oh a lot goodness. that can be done. Wow, that's, that's that's incredible yeah. watching the evolution oh. of that. It, it is, yeah. yeah. It's it's completely different than it was 20 years ago. Wow. And so here you are, 17 years <laughs> later. You, you made yeah. that big life-changing decision, and now you have your thriving business, and yeah. and you want to give back to the community. That's awesome. We're, we've been very blessed. Well, isn't that amazing, Joe? Because you know, I'm in a nice Columbus, and we have the Tootsie Roll. It's amazing how the community is so generous in this community. It really it's is. unbelievable. And like you say now, you're doing the same thing now, you know, reaching out now for the applications here and to really supply things for children between that age, you know, between two and 16, whatever it is there. So I commend you on that, Prem. Fantastic. Thank you. Great, it. great, great. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, I go out in the community and, and cover news stories mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'd say maybe half of the news stories I cover during the year are organizations giving back yeah, to the community. Unbelievable. There's fundraisers and yeah. stuff all the time in this community. It's it's a really amazing community. Are, are, are you lifelong residents of, of Lake Warren or did you come here from another area? Um, I grew up in Warren okay. and then my wife was in Auburn Hills and then we moved to Rochester Hills and then to Orion. So we've kind of bounced around but mostly stayed in the area. Like what mm -hmm. made you uh, adopt Orion as your home? What What is it about the community that you enjoy? Oh gosh, the people here are amazing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that, that was great is when we moved here, we were able to get a property that had a little bit of land. Mm -hmm. We had neighbors before we even moved in the neighbors were welcoming us and helping us wow. and made a huge difference for us and it was crazy how welcomed we felt before we even lived here 
Mm. It certainly is a welcoming community. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable, yeah. Yeah. So where is your portrait studio again? Right on Lapeer Road. On Lapeer um, Road. Yep, directly off Lapeer. Um, we're across from the Palazzo de Bacci. Oh, yeah. I'll just oh, say yeah, about right. A, yeah, mm -hmm. about a mile, mile and a half north of where the palace was. Fantastic. So and you're on yeah. the west side of the street then? On the then. west side, yep. West side, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And once again, if someone wants to reach out to you to uh, take advantage of this uh, grant application process, how do they go about doing that? Um, there's, we have, a, we have a phone number that they can call. I don't actually have that with me. I think we, we have that we can hopefully put on the screen. <laughs> and there's also a link for the application, um, arisingimages.com slash grant application. And uh, yeah, all the info will be on there. They'll, they'll have, uh, there, there's a form they can fill out, a little bit more information, along with a, a web link where they can upload the documents for the 501c3. Fantastic. And you're on Facebook and yep. social media and all that stuff. But you're going to have to uh, come back and update us when the, the grants are handed out. I'm yeah. curious to see how that ends up Absolutely. Going. That's fantastic. Great. Well, continue the great work in the community. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thanks, Brandon. I appreciate you guys. Good introduction. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us.